What's up everybody? So glad you're here. We are in some creative mode right now in what? Uh <laughs> we're in creative mode right now, uh in Space Engineers. I am playing on a uh survival server with some buddies of mine and I recreated uh a thing in survival that I wanted to share. So first off, uh I lost all of my blueprints. Um due to a hard drive crash not too long ago so I am trying to get everything back and amongst all of these things uh, I have I had spent a lot of time making stuff like this and I'm going to share with you now the newest improved variation of Mr. Gary, the mining snail. Uh, yeah, okay. Gary, the mining snail. All right, so new and improved Gary. It's got spitters in the front. Whoop. Are you gonna? Okay, cool. I, I'm not actually using hydrogen. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, it's got spitters in the front. Uh, one for just straight connecting, just in case you want to unload some inventory. Uh, and the rest are ejectors for crap that you don't want. Let me turn this off so that we can showcase some stuff here. So, here we have uh, multiple, multiple <laughs> hydrogen tanks. Because uh, this thing is 100% hydrogen fueled now. Um, I actually went to Triton, uh, survival mode, and built this thing, uh, from scratch. This was not a creative mode build. This was straight up a crazy thing. So, um, you know, I had a piston drill rig going and everything, but my, my main thought was I want to get back to mining with hinges. Um, I really like mining with hinges. Um, it is a very fun gameplay loop. Um, and on top of that, you know, you can get right on top of uh, a piece of uh, gold, get right on top of some cobalt, whatever, what have you, um, and have this sucker go all the way through. So, um, I've got two control seats. Uh, one up here and one down there obviously that's the cockpit um, I got a little welder for backup I usually have it flipped around turned at the hinges um, but I was doing some maintenance over here um, just so that when it spools around um, you know it might clang a thing here or there um, but if you leave it on there's some weird wobbliness that'll start to happen with the hinges so um, sometimes I, I don't like to have that pointing there um, if I come over and start going like, you see that? You see that? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. So there is some clanginess going on with this, and um, I'm pretty sure that it's a no-no to merge block anything like this, remotely like this, with this many hinges, because all of those hinges will just go ballistic, insane, and so on. So we've got a little maintenance bay right here. Um, and so here's here's what I'm gonna be testing today um, in the video here. I'm gonna do it live. You can see what happens. I got a little med bay right back here, it's just for respawning purposes. I'm gonna try and test this style of drill in zero g. What? I know that sounds crazy, but with the artificial gravity generator, I might be able to actually mine asteroids this way. So um, I can show you. We have the piston with the landing gear going down just so I can lock myself into place um, we have the turned on uh, welder that way if the landing gear gets jacked up um, on retrieval uh, it can just get clanged real fast and I don't have to keep coming back here and replacing my landing gear every two seconds because that is annoying so we've got the main rotor right here um, connected to a conveyor tube. This is an advanced rotor so it allows things to go through um, and we've got hinges. I literally just had the conveyor tube down 
uh, or on, um, put a hinge or two down, and then just started spinning it slowly, adding a hinge, uh, and then all the way to the ground, started spinning it slowly, have all of the, inge uh, the hinges turned off. They are all off Ooh, right now. Um, you can pick a hinge, any hinge. They are all off with zero torque. Um, and that gives them this chain-like body. If you offset them, so this one's going this way, and then you want to get one going side to side, the chain will not work. It will break. Um, but this this way it does. Oops, this way it does work. So um, that being said, let me walk you down my awesome hallway here. Um, so as you can see right here, we've got two jump drives and again I did not do this in creative that's how quickly this thing can mine stuff um, it goes down 60 70 kilometers so I mean you have to find some surface deposit stuff but it's not that hard to find surface deposit stuff you know um, and let me actually this is number nine make sure that everything's on so I'm, I'm really proud of my lighting skills these days um, you know because uh, when it, when it comes down to uh, the lighting, it really can make the difference. So, um, so I here I've got uh, a camera set. Uh, I've got the mod for moving the camera around, so I can actually see what the heck's going on. Um, and I've got some illumination going on here. So I've got the construction red blinking around uh, as a warning, um, and I've got the uh, just regular lights going. Um, but the idea is that um, I detach this advanced uh, rotor right here uh, that's attached to this head and then literally just unspool and let it go all the way down and, and drill. So I'll show you real quick and then we'll copy paste this thing to an asteroid and see if we can mine in zero G. Pardon me. Okay, so we detach. Okay. Uh, we're going to reverse the direction of the snail rotor. So Gary the snail is back in action. I'm so happy. Uh, better looking than previously as well. And uh, and we're back with better audio, which is always nice. So this is a very 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 long gameplay loop, uh, but the drill goes with me anywhere I go. So. Most people have problems flying around with their pistons set up or uh, what have you. At least that's been my experience. I'm not trying to tell you your business. Um, but in my experience, it has been a real pain in the butt uh, to have ex fully extended pistons or pistons in a thousand rotors. Um, a bunch of different controls, timer blocks, just gets real complicated at a certain point if you want to do a big mining rig. This is a simple way to do it. It's a big mining rig and you can see, um, you know, it doesn't have as much clang as you would think. So we're going to go to about right there and then we go, wait for it, wait for it, boop, there we go. See? Alright. And the drill's all groups, everything, all set. So, we're just gonna go here. And we're gonna go. Boop! Nope, not that button. Uh, what? This button. Oop, too fast. Uh, you know what? Let's just. Huh? Okay, so. Now we are. Are we? Yes, we are in zero G. So we're gonna go F6. Was it this button? No, this button. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Predefined asteroids. Yeah. Just let me do the the bird bow. Okay. And then we go bow. Prototype. Bow. Okay. I'm excited to try this out in zero G. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first ever Gary in zero G. All right. This is an extremely tiny rock. Okay, I'm gonna get a better rock. This is embarrassing. Uh, 
Let's see here. That looks better. Okay. So first off, at full engines, this thing took me uh, a day because it's got six hydrogen thrusters and not nearly as many O2s. Um, this thing took me like a day to fuel. Like, no joke. It, it took me way too long to fuel this thing. Okay. Alright, All right, so we're going to be try and be nice and gentle here. Pick a side. Any side. Okay. And... You know what? Let's just go... Here, so we have a toggle for it, and we'll put a toggle on them. Okay. So we're gonna go to nine. And that, interestingly enough, doesn't affect the ship. Okay. Well, the ship's fine in one G anyway. So, as you can just tell. All right. Um. So we're gonna come down here. And we're gonna say. Up. Okay. Okay, so I'm extending the piston out just in case you can't see what I'm doing. Just give me a second to get my parking brake going and then we will give this baby a shot. Okay, so there's the parking brake. And let me just say, okay, I want to mine this way. Maybe. Maybe I maybe I try it without the piston. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay. So we're just gonna sit here and hover, because we can do that. Take a quick look. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Oh. We're back. Alright. About like right there. Okay. So now we switch the camera view. Make sure our lights are turned on. Our gravity generator is working, um, and here we go. Oh, first time ever in space, and gravity generator is not seeming to have an effect on the subgrid, which is what I was worried about, so crap. So even if I, oh, wait a minute, hang on, so we go. Loading, dude. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, so. We all know from the last video, which wasn't the best video audio wise, but we all know what Gary can do as far as mining. Okay. But. Oh my god, the subgrid doesn't work. What if I put mass blocks on it? What if I put a mass block on it? All right, let me let me try and put a mass block on it. I have an idea. All right, come here, come here. What's the matter with you, huh? What are you doing? It's embarrassing. Okay. Oh. Did it? Oh snap! Snap! Did it work? see it going up on that safety rail like that that is a bad sign I have had it collide once in survival with this gun right here come down remove this entire that's why there's no corner right here this entire area got just deleted control alt straight up deleted and it's, oh sh it's working with the mass block go 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 dispatch <laughs> oh my god yeah S T F U It's working. Oh my god, okay, so I gotta take out one I'm thinking about my survival kit right now or uh, the survival save right now. I gotta take out one light and put in two mat mass blocks, but I can use this drill 
in space. This is a space snail now. Look at him go. Look at him go. I could drill right through that other rock, huh? I wonder... Look, he's just gonna keep spitting out rocks. <laughs> oh, that's a good time. That is a good time. Alright, so anybody who feels the need to continue on, uh, appreciate you hanging out for the video. Um, but I think, I mean, conceptually, it is a beautiful thing. This is one of my favorite toys. And now I have it in a survival. Not because of a blueprint, because I lost all my blueprints. I literally had the pleasure of, of building this in a survival. And I know that's, that's probably why these thrusters look the way they do. Kind of horrendous, but um, you know it's a work in progress as far as the cabin and everything goes. And uh, if I make any changes to it, I'll keep everybody updated. Uh, but um, let me know if you want me to share this to the workshop. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.